Brooklyn Independent Television. Located on Van Brunt Street, dubbed Red Hook's Restaurant Row, Kevin's is an adorable eatery that is known for their seafood specialties, but they also offer this delicious brunch with options like Eggs Chesapeake and Cornflake Crusted Hala French Toast. Mmm, sounds scrumptious. My name's uh, Kevin Moore of uh, Kevin's Restaurant here in Red Hook, Brooklyn. And we're actually located right on Van Brunt Street, which is almost a block away from the water. So having a great water movement here, I opened up a seafood restaurant and we uh, just love this town. It's uh, very receptive to my food, my cooking, and um, I'm just happy to be here in Red Hook. Caroline, my wife and partner, and I have been coming to Red Hook for years, just enjoying the waterside, and always thought about maybe the possibility of opening a restaurant in Red Hook, and actually, dream came true when I found a, a storefront. Kevin and I, for many years, used to come to Red Hook bicycling, and I'm from the West Village, so for me, Red Hook had a feeling very much like when I was young in the village. It is by the waterside, and it has a lot of sunshine and low buildings and there was always something interesting happening here. When Kevin and I first were interested in possibly um, opening a place here, we went to a couple of the restaurants, we went to a couple of events here and we decided Red Hook is definitely the place for us. It's a kind of a special place for people to come. Mostly it's fresh seafood and there's always uh, pasta on the menu, uh, vegetarian. And uh, also at brunch, he's gotten really popular for his um, blueberry pancakes and uh, cornflake crusted uh, challah bread French toast. I met Caroline many years ago at a restaurant where I was a chef. And Caroline came in as a waitress and we kind of worked together well and had the same fondness for food. So we've been happily together for many years. That was one of the things that drew us to Red Hook, is that there's a fantastic a community farm. In the springtime, the summer, and the fall, we get beautiful fresh produce from added value. It's like being in the country, you know? We get our lobsters right across the street at Red Hook Lobster Pound. We do ship them down from Maine every single week. The uh, seating capacity is about 23 seats, so this way I can really focus on each table, and I kind of open the, the kitchen where people feel like they're in touch with me and I'm in touch with them. Kevin, tell us what we're making today. Fresh striped bass grilled in a uh, beautiful lobster broth. And what I do is I make a little rice ball mm -hmm. and bread it in flour, egg, and panko breadcrumbs. So where do we start? We're going to start with a striped bass. What's on the bass right now? Very finely minced lemongrass and salt, pepper, and some cilantro. What I do is I start up on the grill, and I get it to almost to a smoking point. Just actually mark it. Okay. I'll put two different marks on it, and then finish it off in the oven for 10 minutes. Why this fish? Is this just a fish of the day, or? I like the kind of the flaky fish, because you can break it into the, the broth. So then after we grill it, you said you put it in the oven. And I take it off, and just quickly in the oven, Usually about 10 minutes, depending on the size. What I'm just going to do is heat up some lobster broth. And... Oh, that's lobster yeah. broth. And then to that, I infuse a little uh, pickled ginger and just a very fine shred. And we put a little sh sliver ginger in. And then from there, I take a uh, sesame oil. It's got a hint of cayenne pepper in it. Different cuisines. And we just put just a touch. And I put a little bit of the teriyaki which is not salty, it's a sweeter type of soy. But, and then from there, we add our vegetables. Spinach, zucchini, some red pepper, and some carrot and onion. And then I finish it with some sweet peas. So one of the, one of the garnishes I have for it is a, uh, it's actually sort of like a, a spit off of an Italian arancini. But this time I used uh, Japanese rice scallions and some wasabi and some nori sheets. It's a sticky rice. So do you come up with these uh, recipes on your own? Or are you just kind I, of trial and error? I kind of come up on my own. They're like a little sweeter breadcrumb, so they get really nice and crispy. And what we do is I just 
Drop them into oil. It's usually about 325 degrees. Like it gets crispy. Crispy. And I take, take our broth. You smell that lobster and, and, yes. and the touch uh, of the soy. I smell everything and I smell the ginger and the teriyaki sauce. Thank Ooh. you. I like the colors too. I know colors have a lot to do with cooking and this definitely... Yeah, it has a, a lightness to it and a good broth. And I just a little snip of fresh <laughs> coriander and scallion on top. And that is fresh. Ah, that's there it perfect. Is. Our final garnish is nori sheets. Just enough to toast them up. Once they start to curl, then... Uh, then you know it's ready. Yeah, I like to pull them off. And I garnish the cake. Oh, well, not there only does go. it smell good, but it looks like it's going to taste good as well. Thank you. So now I get to try Kevin's striped bass meal. I got chopsticks for the Asian inspired meal, so let's see if this works. Okay. That is delicious. Oh my goodness. And I actually taste everything that he put in there, the sesame, the ginger, this is, this is amazing. Oh, so come down to Kevin's. Yes, they have seafood, but they also have an amazing brunch. I think you'll definitely enjoy it. See you next time. Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.